what helped you make the leap of faith uh, and jump all in on real estate? Um, I finally was doing enough deals and it was like, okay, take that leap and don't look back. Like you've worked your butt off this hard. Um, and there was months where, you know, you don't have a deal coming in at first and you're like, man, what did I make the right call? Should I go find another job? And it was never letting myself do that because I knew as soon as I did that, I was going backwards. I never wanted to go backwards. Like everything had to be going forwards. Uh, so many, I think so many agents, they, they hold on to that lifeline um, because they're comfortable and they don't necessarily believe in themselves. You know, I always tell agents, look, if you believe in yourself and you believe that you have a strong ethic, uh, work ethic and you really believe that you have a strong work ethic if you're willing to put in the time and the hours i was telling them that they're going to be successful but if you believe that you're lazy and, and you're self-aware and we can have honest conversations with ourselves I'm not saying you can't be successful i'm saying it's going to be inconsistent success yeah right um and uh you know for me I, when i sit down with those agents i'm like you have until you make real estate a priority it's never going to work right right you know it's like it's over Go ahead. I mean, even like, even like, you know, look, I, you know, I don't have kids. Right. But like, I understand family time. I understand time with your, your significant others. I understand times with kids and all of those things. And those are important. But ultimately, if you put your business first, you're going to be able to take care of the others later. Yeah. Right. And it's that, it's that decision on sacrifice and priorities. Right. And until, unfortunately, if you're in that situation, until you you make real estate a priority of your life uh, and it's your top one or two things that you focus on and it's right here all the time um until you do that you're gonna you're, you're gonna struggle in my opinion yeah it's like a diet right like people i want instant six pack abs no the people who have that have been disciplined and dedicated to waking up and doing sit-ups or what they eat like it's it's not just going and working and showing houses, but you're, I know you're huge on this. It's also educating yourself to get better too and understand what's going on in the market. So you can educate your clients. Like there's so many different facets and levels to it where it's like you said, really diving in deep and making this your number one priority. Like real estate is my life. I haven't sold in two years, two and a half years with this position, but it's still my life. Like I know what's going on in every element of the real estate sector in the real estate industry. So, yeah. And, and you know, the training set, like I've done four hours of training that I, I consider this a training because I'm learning from you, right. Of yeah. how you go through business and, and how you operate and how you coach and, and teach other agents. And I've done four hours today alone of just yeah. training stuff, right. That's not, that's not prospecting. I've done two hours of prospecting, but four hours of training today. Um, and, you know, I, I, there's just a lot of those opportunities that are missed uh, because a lot of people just overlook it. You yeah. know, back to the baseball thing, right? The majority of the time, the players are practicing. The game is just a small, 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 small percentage of actually what they do. Yep, yep. It's it's studying the film. It's pr looking at their swing. It's breaking down, you know, BP, taking grounders and, you know, fly balls, right? So, yeah. Um, yep, it's, it's right. like back to the video like i didn't know how to do video but it's i want to learn so i practiced and i did it like it's i i just hate when somebody says well i don't know how to do that okay youtube like it's available to everyone now you can literally youtube anything you want and learn whatever you want in this world very easily so that that's yeah. not an excuse anymore yeah Talk to me about, you know, making the switch in your career to kind of what you're currently doing. Um, what what led up to that? And, um, you know, what time frame, you know, what year did you make that switch? Yeah, it was it was perfect timing. So I had um, left Berkshire and ended up at Keller Williams. And that's when I really started building my team. And the first go around I had at it was an epic failure and like it was just terrible and um, like set me back. That's how bad it was, but I just, I refocused and became more purposeful about it because before it was that typical agent, oh, I'm growing so fast, I need help, let me let me start a team. And that's what I did, and that was a stupid reason for it. Um, so I just went back and focused on myself, put my business back up again, and then was really purposeful in how I went about starting that team. Um, so I did that, went over to KW, it was 2019 so i was there for two years two and a half years at the east and keller williams office um and then they had approached me here to come be the team leader at this office and it was perfect 
perfect timing because we would hold our team meetings every Monday at 10. And I was getting more excited to see somebody on my team put something in contract or pick up a new buyer than me, you know, putting whatever in contract over the weekend. And when they called and told me what part of this job was, I was like, okay, that's, you know, the call was, hey, we're looking for this position. You know, a lot of people in the industry. Who do you know? And I was like, that's some bit you're calling because you're interested in me. So I texted Brian Kemp back. I'm like, what if, you know, what if I'm interested? So, and then the rest was history. Nice. And I think that kind of plays into, you know, the coaching background, right? Like, I think that's part of it for me too. Like I just grew up playing sports. You know, I love being on a team. I love the atmosphere. Um, I love uh, competition. I love, um, you know, leading by example and seeing other people get better too. So, yeah. Um, and, and there's something about, like I had mentioned before, growing and winning. Like, I just like to win. We did, I can't remember who it was with, but it was Know Your Why. And we read the Simon Sinek book and everything. And to me, it was just to be the best I can possibly be. Like, that's my why. Like, I don't ever want to look back someday and be like, you didn't give it your all. Like, you had this opportunity and you failed at that. Like, my dad died when he was 58. Like, that weighs heavily on me. Like, don't let that time pass. Yeah.